Today we will be talking about the Pathfinder tool. We all know that Illustrator provides us with a lot of shape tools. You have your basic ellipse and rectangle tool, and you also have your polygon and star tool. There's also a rounded rectangle tool, line tool, and a grid tool. But it doesn't matter how many tools Illustrator gives us, there will always be shapes that you need to create that won't be possible with any single tool, which is why we have the Pathfinder. In order to find the Pathfinder, you go to Windows, Pathfinder, or you can look in your toolbar for this little icon. In the Pathfinder, we have four shape modes and six different Pathfinders. First, we are going to be talking about the shape modes. The first one is Unite. Unite does exactly what its name says. It unites two different shapes into one. So if I select both the circle and the rectangle, and I come over here and I click Unite, it's going to unite those two shapes into one. And that's basically what Unite does. The next mode is minus the front. Minus the front allows you to select two different shapes and minus the front of them in order to or form a new shape. So I select them, I click the minus the front, the circle, which is on front, in the front of the rectangle, is deleted. And that's the second shape mode. The third shape mode is intersect mode. Intersect mode removes everything but what is covered up. So if we take a look, I select these both. The bottom of the triangle has nothing underneath it, and the top of the circle has nothing underneath it. But the bottom of the circle, that bottom half, and the top of the rectangle have something underneath it. So we click the intersect button, and it deletes everything but what is covered up, because underneath that half a circle, we had that rectangle, which was covered up. The four shape mode is exclude, which is the kind of the opposite of intersect. Exclude mode excludes everything that is overlapping. So if we click the exclude mode, you can see that the bottom half of the rectangle had nothing overlapping and the top of the circle had nothing. But again, the bottom half of that circle did, so it was deleted. Now we're going to move on to the six pathfinders. The first one is divide. Divide separates the selected shapes into parts. So if we had these two triangles, we're going to select them. And again, divide separates them into smaller pieces. So we are going to come over to the Pathfinder and click the Divide button. And then I'm going to grab my direct selection arrow and I can pull these parts apart so now the triangles are not whole shapes anymore. They are different and it forms a new shape. The second Pathfinder is the Trim mode. Trim separates the selection, selected shapes into parts as Divide does, but it preserves the top shape when there is overlap. So if I have these two triangles again, I have a purple and a pink one. You can tell that the purple one is overlapping the pink, so when we trim it, it's going to be preserved. So I select both shapes, click the Trim button, and grab my direct selection arrow. I can pull apart the pink mini triangles, but the purple one is still whole. So trim again, breaks down the shapes into smaller pieces, but preserves the top shape. The third pathfinder is the merge. Merge is very similar to trim. It separates the selected shapes into parts while preserving the top layers, but it also merges overlapping shapes of the same color. So I have my square, my rectangles, and my triangles. I'm going to select them all and click Merge. As you can see, the triangles that are all the same color have become one shape, and the rectangles, except for the, top, the yellow one because it was on the top layer, are split apart and preserved. So Merge does that. The next Pathfinder is Crop Mode. I like to think of crop as a cookie cutter. Whatever is inside of the top layer shape is what gets cut out. So crop takes the shape of the top layer that is selected and crops everything from all other selected later layers that is not within the shape in those colors of, the, of those layers. So if I have my rectangle, triangle, and circle, the circle's the top shape, I'm gonna click crop. It makes the circle 
because the circle is the top shape and it also keeps the green and the purple. The next mode is outline mode. Outline results in the outline of each shape. So if I take my circle, rectangle, and triangle, select them all, click the outline button, you can see that simply the, every shape was outlined. <laughs> you have your circle, triangle, and the rectangle. And the last pathfinder is the minus back mode. Minus back works with two shapes and subtracts the bottom shape from the top shape. So it minuses the back. I have my rectangle and my circle here. I am going to select them both and click the minus back button. As you can see, the circle, which was on the back is subtracted from the top layer, which would have been the rectangle. And that's the minus back mode. So overall, using the Pathfinder to perform actions can simplify and greatly increase your efficiency with Illustrator, which is why it's so important to know how to use it. With four different shape modes and six different Pathfinders, your options for creating unique shapes are endless. So I hope that after showing you this tutorial of each different mode, that you feel more com comfortable and confident with using the Pathfinder.